Hi friends. Going on my walk this morning. That was my water. I'm actually gonna stop and get that out because it is gonna roll and I can't stand when things roll in my car. Oh, I had the worst night last night. Um, at first I thought I was just having like cramps in my toes from like walking and stuff yesterday. Hang on. Okay, water bottle back in its socket. Also, I got this at Target the other day. Bloom came out with an energy drink. I haven't tried the Bloom flavored, like the, the powder stuff yet. We have some. I should actually try some. But this is an energy drink. So, I'm going to try that because I need to go for a walk this morning. I'm earlier than I've been going walking all week long. Um, we've had to wait and go at like 10.15, me and Abby. Because Abby had camps and stuff all this week. Come on, why is this such a struggle? But I'm not early enough for the sunshine. Sleeping in did feel good, um, but I'm, it's going to be a hot one. So I already put sunscreen on my face and I'm going to pray for the shade side. <laughs> um, Abby isn't going to go with me today. I already texted her and um, she's like, I am so tired. But I have to go walking today. Um, I have to. I have to, even though I'm tired. It's just what I have to do. Luckily, just to keep you guys in check with me and what my mindset is going through, I, this sounds strange to compare it to. You know my, my I love my cold beverages. It's just in me. I love my cold beverage. If I'm running errands, I'm gonna get a cold beverage. I have quite honestly gotten addicted to walking and I love the time, I love how I feel afterwards. Um, the scale is working in my favor, not that I let that dictate my life, but everything that I'm doing is working and I, I absolutely have fallen in love with walking. I'm gonna be really sad when the sunshine goes away, but I try and go on days where it's not warm, the sun's not out yet, where it's raining, because those are gonna be my days going into the winter and then I'm gonna to have to find, you know, it in me to like get on my treadmill or find a gym to maybe go to or something that I'm comfortable with. Because I love, 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 love going for my walks and listening to my music or talking to a friend. So I am gonna go. That's my long-winded version of why I'm going for a walk tomorrow, this morning. And why I'm coming to you today is because I have absolutely nothing to do. <laughs> That's the strange reason to pick up the camera. But I finally, after weeks, do not have anything that I have to do today except pick up birthday donuts for Abby. She still has not told me what birthday donuts she wants. She has de decided she wants a nothing but bunt cake um, for her birthday cake. She doesn't want me or her to make her cake. We had a cake like that at Kaylee and Jacob's apartment with his parents, they brought it with them to celebrate his dad's birthday. And Abby's like, yes, this is what I would like for my birthday. <laughs> so I do need to go pick that up today as well as the donuts, but she needs to decide on her donuts. Um, so I probably will text her here when I get to my walk. But that's all I have to do today. Um, wrapping up her birthday presents is going to eat, be easy because I'm putting them all into bags and I've got everything in my office and that's easy. I'm gonna turn on a movie and I'm gonna wrap her stuff up and um, we have a fun day planned tomorrow for her birthday. A few different things. She does have to work, but she wants to work because she has not gotten hours this summer. Like she literally has not gotten hours. Um, it's sunshiny and the where, where she works um, is where everyone goes to hang out when it's raining. <laughs> so, there hasn't been much business, so they can't give her hours. So she's very excited to work today and tomorrow, thus having to work on her birthday. She's very excited to do so. So um, I have things to do around the house that I will take you along with, and we're, we're just gonna do our day, but it's very low, low, low energy. Um, I might wash my car. Um, Ashley got sunburned yesterday at the lake. I didn't film yesterday. I went, took her by myself um, and three of her friends. Another friend met us there. Um, 
So I didn't take the camera and film any of that, but she is sunburned today and very tired. So I'm letting her have a chill day. If she wants play dates, she can have them later this afternoon. So anyway, let's start our day finally after all my blabbing. There's bunt cakes. Just went and got Abby's cake for her birthday. I think I might turn my car onto like dog mode. Keep that cold while I walk into Target really quick. Um, got all our birthday presents ready. I mean, I have to put them in the bags, but I haven't gotten like the obligatory snacks. Um, I'm gonna get her goldfish. She has a favorite kind, the cupcake, vanilla cupcake. Just a few other snacks for her birthday. She can buy them herself, but it's just kind of fun to like get a little snack for your birthday. She has not responded to me about what kind of donut she wants in the morning. Maybe like cinnamon rolls or something. So I'm waiting to hear about that before I go home. I have to call her when I'm done here in Target. I'm not feeling the greatest. I'm hoping it's just my medicine. I had a hard time in the beginning of my walk. I was feeling pretty nauseous and sorry for all the fans, but you know, the, you know, it's just the top. I haven't even like showered. I'm not going to, because I'm about to go. Oh, come on. I gotta move. I'm trying to like coordinate batteries. <sighs> I want to clean my car today so that it's clean for us tomorrow. I'm going to go out for Abby's birthday. But Abby wants to go with me to get her birthday donuts. She's now working. Well, I'm also not surprised at all. That's not done. So we're going to go upstairs. We're going to do, I'm going to get a trash bag. I've been kind of getting on the kids because we worked really hard to make their rooms nice. And they've kind of trashed them. And all of them have at one point in time. Abby just cleaned her room, which made me feel good. That is very in character for her to clean it before her birthday. She even brought her bucket down. You can see the other kids? Nope. The bucket. And can I just say, it's very strange. I cleaned in here. I only have three buckets. And this extra sock bucket up here that was Kaylee's. I just dropped the sock. I've turned it into the cozy sock bucket. Like everyone can kind of, they all are like one size fits all. And um, an extra pair, either as a gift or for Christmas next year. But like, that's Kaylee's sock bucket. We only have the three for the girls up here, if you are new, um, which I get about a hundred of you new every single month. So I keep all the kids' socks down here. If you don't do this in your house with your kids, I don't do it with me and Jason, but if you have children, and I have eight kids, 11 to tomorrow, 17, I keep the socks down here because if once they go to their rooms, like it would be a disaster. So I keep the socks down here clean. Once I clean them, I put them up in their bucket. And when they need to leave, they come in, grab a pair of socks, put their shoes on, and they leave the house. That way the matches all stay together. So, but I cleaned it out yesterday. I went through all of, um, <laughs> I have three pairs. I can't show you because it says the name of the school. Actually, it says Chelsea's name on it. These are PE uniforms right here. I have three pairs of PE uniforms from the middle school um, where Chelsea went. But the year, the years before that, the older girls went to a different middle school. <laughs> so I am going to get use out of three different pairs of PE uniforms that Chelsea has gone through and upgraded sizes for Ashley when she goes to the same middle school. I am not buying another dang PE uniform. 
Um, even for Chelsea going to try, they don't have to have a uniform for high school, but I am going to try to get Chelsea to only take PE one time in high school because I absolutely hate our PE cur curriculum. It is absolutely awful. And I, Abby did it right. She did one PE um, course when she had a doctor's note and was not required to do anything before her surgery. It's Ashley's friends. Um, but then she did her, um, her uh, PE credit through the college. <laughs> And it was all mine. It was the best way to do high school PE credit. Anyway, I cleaned in that room because I was just kind of sad seeing the empty sock bucket and the entry, empty laundry bucket for, from Kaylee. <sighs> it was good to declutter. I also have like a bajillion, um, what do you call them? Uh, uh, cheer uniforms. Can't stand when they cha change the uniforms, which both of her squads have not changed. So I have all these extra uniforms that we can't use and I paid good money for them. Time to clean this stuff up. But I gotta go quick because I have to go with Abby to get donuts before she has to go to work. Also, she cleaned her room. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna throw her under the bus. Am I gonna throw you under the bus? My room's clean so you don't have to. Okay, and you need to go do dishes then. But I'm gonna gather up I'm gonna put the shelf back on here, on this shelf, so I can take a photo of it, so I can get rid of it. I'm just gonna donate it. Do not have room in my car to just take it to Goodwill, so I'm likely just gonna put it up on the Buy Nothing group on Facebook. But I am over, I'm really over having the big poof. I don't know where to put it though. Don't know where to put it, but somehow, Kaylee didn't make it back to the storage room with all of this stuff. It's pretty heavy. Um, and toilet paper needs to get put into that bin. It's pretty hard to uh, actually make that happen, apparently. <laughs> yeah. Apparently I'm the only one who knows how to do any of this stuff. So. Also, this has just become a catch-all, which is why I'm getting sick of this being here. It gives them, like this is usually their only space to have as a catch-all. And now they've gained access by having this whole thing here. I'm over it. Oh, and there's the hangers. If you remember when we moved Kaylee in, there's her hangers that we forgot. Because it looked like it was just part of this extra junk. I gotta hurry, I gotta hurry. All right, you can see my progress as to what's gone downstairs already. <laughs> uh, bucket of dishes, bucket of hangers, and put this with Kaylee's supplies. She can take her extra hangers with her. Laundry, I have a load of towels to do. And I guess I'll wash her blanket. I don't know if she wants me to donate that. I'm gonna text her. Can you go get me my phone? Yeah, but can I? Maybe. Because I wanna make this like, Bluey sweatshirt. Okay, you don't have any money. Yeah, but it's not that much. It's a back to school thing. Go get me my phone and we'll talk. I am gonna try and get rid of these guys. Um, I don't think this little filing cabinet thing is emptied though. You can kind of see she didn't get that far. Maybe she took what she wanted. Um, but I've got this shelf unit the drawer, filing cabinet thing, and a fish tank, which... We may get a fish. Who got a fish? We may get a fish. No, we're not, I'm not, she doesn't want to keep it. I'm not keeping it. All right, Ashley kind of interrupted my mind thought. <laughs> I got the pictures posted online to try and get rid of this stuff. Um, I have all my beach stuff in my car now, otherwise I would just load it up and take it, but we're gonna try and just give it away, and then if not next week, I will probably just go and donate it, but I do need to go through these drawers. So I have moved everything off of the floor in here. I'm going to come up later and vacuum before I shower. I get really hot vacuuming, vacuuming especially up here. So got that room done. Abby's is cleaned up um, and these guys have their room. Everyone's trying to stay cool. Um, do you want me to turn this up higher? Ashley, are you going to go with me now? Yeah, turn that up. Yeah, that, if we hurry. All right, I may or may not have just taken a nap on the couch. 
it's not eight o'clock. I need Ashley to come finish loading. Um, oh, Jason cleaned up my dinner. I made dinner. I made that Mongolian beef again because I was so hungry tonight. Anyway, I look, I look lovely. I look, let me take these out. We're gonna, we'll do, we'll do some uh, twisty curls for you so that I can pull my hair out and put it up for the night because we're gonna call it a night, but there we go. You guys can have the little curls for the night. But before I made dinner and before I fell asleep on the couch and before Ashley convinced Jason to take her to Hobby Lobby <laughs> um, to get a sweatshirt and some decals, she wanted a bluey decal. I have no idea why at the age of 11 she is obsessed with bluey, but she is. And she wanted to find a bluey one, but she didn't. So he went and took her to do that. But before all of that, <laughs> if he took one, I'm going to be so mad. I have not done the laundry I was supposed to do. It's down there. Did Abby take one? No. Okay. She didn't. Abby and I went and got, you can barely see. Let me see if I can turn the light on. Abby and I went and got these donuts. Um, she wanted to kind of pick out which ones she wanted. I'm gonna take them out here um, so that in the morning when I get up for a walk, I can put them on a little stand. She wanted to pick them out and it was a good thing that she went with me because they had a nice new flavor, the raspberry, like a raspberry swirl, cream, cheese, something or other. I'm gonna put those there. I'm gonna get the stand out. This cute little guy. Um, put them out there tomorrow. Um, many times I've been to Target this week since I've been home and I forgot rice. Now we are plum out. I also wanna try getting some dark soy sauce for that recipe. Um, and I also hate that I tried that recipe without Kaylee here cause she would absolutely love that. Um, okay, so I have Abby's donuts ready to go. I'm gonna see if I can go up to Jason and get his reaction to something. I haven't shown you something that happened, but I'm, I'm gonna take this little number seven up to Chelsea. Um, I have this other one. I, I don't remember if I showed you guys. On our way home from getting those donuts, I told Abby I needed to go and look for something. It was one of these, but it was not another seven. I have sevens. <laughs> Maybe you'll see where I'm going with this. Um, where is the other one? I also had this guy. Look how cute this one is. It's like a little balloon. This one's not a candle. It's just a cute cake topper. But now I have to cut my seven, my second one, and make it look like a one. Tilt it a little bit to make it look like a one. But then I need Chelsea to paint it this silver color once I cut it. Um, so we can put it on the cake. I'm gonna blow up these balloons really quick. Um, I have like one of these little, what do you call it? Balloon stand kits that I got at the dollar store a few weeks ago. Before I left, I was prepared. I also went and picked up these little confetti balloons that I need to blow up while Abby's at work tonight. And then, I have all of her gifts underneath my desk right there. Um, I want to get as much of that done as I can. I also have this. So at the, um, what do you call it? Nothing Bunt Cakes store, the price of the cakes are ridiculous. <laughs> but I paid for it because that's the cake Abby wanted. And it was a good thing because it was like 90 something degrees today. It wouldn't have been good to bake a cake in our kitchen. And obviously I was tired, so I wouldn't have had time. They wanted to charge $11 for tissue paper in the shape of a flower on top of the cake. And I was like, no, thank you. $11? I'll go to the dollar store. And I was going to go to the dollar store, but I, instead I got this at Target. And it was $2. So I'm just going to see how it has like that long little stem on it or whatever. I'm just going to shove that into the middle of the bundt cake. 
And we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna put the cute little candles. They probably will have to go right in front of that little topper. And then I'm gonna put the balloons on this, these cute stands, right around all of her presents, and then probably just like loose on the table or whatever. Um, it is weird to see me on camera. I keep like catching glances of myself with the curly hair. I don't know. The problem is the back is all flat and like split in the middle. My hair needs to be washed terribly bad. So anyway, I need to do that while Abby is gone. She said today when we were at the dollar store trying to find the candle, um, I, I pointed up to one of the funny balloons and I was like, I've got that balloon for you. And she's like, you didn't get balloons. I was like, how do you know I didn't get balloons? And she's like, you didn't get me balloons. Well, I did get her balloons. They're just not going to have helium in them, which is totally fine. I might try and do it like a confetti balloon and another balloon and try, oh, it won't work. Well, then I'm going to do the three confetti balloons on the stands and then all the other ones loose. So I might just do that by, I don't know. Is it worth doing compressor or just blowing these up by mouth? There's just a few balloons that I need. And then I'll give Ashley the extras. Um, she made little water balloon babies with all the extras that I got the other day. So just getting ready for her birthday and maybe I'll take these balloons upstairs so she doesn't see the, see the balloons. Maybe I'll do that so we'll hide it from her. And I'm going to tell you something that we did the other day or something that happened the other day. I want to get Jason's actual reaction um, because, anyway, <laughs> I want to get his reaction. So let's go upstairs. Okay, well, I'm going upstairs and give you some backstory. This camp that Ashley went to, I need a vacuum up here. Maybe I'll do that after I do these balloons. We stole the AC for the night. Okay, I need to walk away from the fans for a second here. So the other day, Abby or Ashley has been doing this camp with her friend who is like two, three years older than her. And she's now aged out. She can't do the camp next year because she'll be 12. <laughs> it's like from five to 11 or something like that. Anyway, on the second day, she walked out of the house and every girl was surrounding her. And, I, and she was holding a box. And I jokingly said, there better not be an animal in that box. And every girl was laughing. And I was like, what's going on? Why is everyone laughing? And Ashley said, you should pull out your camera when I show you what's in this box. And we all know how that's gone. And so, <laughs> here's what happened. I have to kind of cut out one of the girls because she kind of stuck her head in there. She's really cute, but I don't know if I can film her. But, um this is what she had that day it was the grand prize for absolutely nothing the mom was just looking to get rid of this yeah of course and uh didn't want to keep it for the you'll see um but then i want to get jason's reaction yes. you want a grand prize and i'm taking it home they're <laughs> bringing this home with me it's mine it is an animal isn't it it's a guinea pig holy <laughs> crap <laughs> he's junky <laughs> Okay, it's it is an animal. <laughs> He's mine. So I didn't catch it on camera what your reaction was. I gave him a preface like, don't worry, I took care of everything. There's nothing to worry about. What, what was your knee-jerk reaction when I showed you the video? Well, you showed me the video of it, and I'm just like, I am definitely allergic to it. <laughs> like, I can't be in the house. I would just be like dead. You were like, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Just, yeah, like, you can't have this in the house. They're cute. I would love for her to have an animal. But I know. those things just destroy me. Yeah. I'd rather have a cat before I'd have a hamster. I know. What was a guinea pig? Yeah, whatever. Uh, they're all the same vermits. Hamster, guinea pig, who could tell the difference? I know. A biologist. So I don't think she really believed me in the car. I was like, this, they can't go home with us. And I was trying to understand, like, the mom, like, why would you let my kid take a pet home without asking my permission first? And then I was like, okay, maybe she can just keep it for a few hours while Jason's gone and he's not home. And then we have to bring it back. And I was like, but we're going to the lake right now. And it was just like, it was chaos. I was like, what in the heck? And then luckily the mom 
I went up, she was like, Dana, is everything okay? And I explained to her how allergic he is. Our friend has um, had a guinea pig a couple years ago and um, has two dogs as well, that, to be fair. He has two large dogs and a very large house. And Jason's really, he gets somewhat like runny nose if he's hanging out of the house for too long. So for the most part, he just kind of stays away from the dog and takes some allergy meds and he's fine. He walked into this house not knowing that they had a guinea pig and instantly was like, <sighs> my throat closing off. Well, it was within like minutes and he didn't know that there was a guinea pig, had no idea, was in the kitchen, the guinea pigs were in the entryway and, um, and so he was like, I can't keep these. I, I knew because I've seen his reaction to the guinea pigs. I knew he couldn't like, he, we couldn't keep them. And so it was so hard to say no to Ashley. And like, and then, so anyway, I explained that to the mom and she was like, Ashley, you can't keep that guinea pig. I'll have to find another person to take this guinea pig. She's like, I don't want it for the rest of the, its life. I didn't, she's like, I didn't know it survived five years and we've had it a year and I'm done with it. And so I don't know who the other lucky culprit's gonna be, but it's not us. Sorry folks, we are allergic to a lot of animals around here. So, probably gonna end our night with that. Stay tuned tomorrow and see how we decorate for Abby's birthday. Um, and I'm not gonna be able to go to sleep now, so I'm probably just gonna go and, and it's not cooled off in here at all quite yet. So I'm gonna, obviously I'm interrupting Jason I'm watching TV up here, so I'm gonna say goodnight to you guys. And um, stay tuned for Abby's 17th birthday. Jason just, I don't know what he was thinking. He, he thought she was turning 16, but she's been driving for a year, so apparently she's not turning 16. Um, she's turning 17. We almost have another adult in this house, which is absolutely insane. So stay tuned, and we will see you guys on Abby's birthday. Good night.